Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. On the return, it's Washington. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Play Mahomes looking to throw it. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get the goal sack. Gotta hope that's not a sign of things to come as they face an early second and long. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Third play in this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Chiefs first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. So opening drive, third down. They complete the slant to move the sticks. And ordinarily, it's a high percentage pass when you throw it. And receivers like to run that route because it gets the ball in their hands pretty quickly. Just a couple of quick steps upfield, break towards the middle, and the ball should be there. And then they can get to some work afterwards. They work now on second and nine. Throwing now is Mahomes. Oh, His throw incomplete. I mean, when I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big time spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 45-yard line. A big third down pickup of 20 yards. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. A give right side for Pacheco. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, and keep the defense off balance. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. Unable to corral him. He fights through. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit, but how about the people have to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play and sometimes it can bring big. So the completion good for just three and that's going to bring up second down and they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved just as you said they want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game but they must like the matchups they're getting open on the left side this is Valdez Scantlin and he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five 
The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by Butker is on target. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he will possibly get back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. On the other hand, it will definitely take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a second and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Rogerio Sneed. And to the 40-yard line, and that's where the return stops. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Mahomes now to throw. Connection made on the all route to Valdez Scantlin. Now he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Yellow, yellow. Third and two. Yellow. Now Mahomes. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And motion left goes a tight end. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. On first down, they go back to Pacheco. And he will take it on the end for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco 
with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs go up by two touchdowns. Butker now to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 0. Now, after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. They got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen, and they need for it to happen now. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. King, Phil King, Phil King. Hey, thumbs up, alert. Hurts. Going deep here for Watkins. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Quez Watkins, 70 yards. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. They were already down two scores early. They needed something to try to stem that tide, and that certainly qualifies a big play to get them in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because, let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What, 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. It usually meant that thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. we still got a good game going ahead of us. This fielded right at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Yellow. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. Able to hit on a big play right there in the two-minute drill. Now they've got a chance to use all the remaining clock and build on their lead right before halftime. Pacheco gets it up the gun. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. Open man here, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Fletcher Cox there for the tackle. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. 
Here's Mahomes to throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep. First and goal. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He said, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to count for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. I don't need to. I don't need to. Hey, Sunday, on Sunday, on Sunday, on Sunday. Let's go, baby. They run it with Pacheco from the gun. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. Second and goal from the one. 43! 43! Once more, it's Pacheco. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. The ball down at the one as they come up after the penalty on another second and goal. Yellow, yellow. Come back. Come on, baby. They'll try with McKinnon. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. Touchdown! Rasheed Rice in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chiefs would extend their lead here just before halftime. Butker on for the PAT. It's good, and it is now 21-7. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. do it for the end of the second quarter this is the nfl and it's on ea sports We welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. 
Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. On second down, Swift. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Hurts fumbles it. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. Burt sets up to throw it. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. 63, 63, 63. Hey, easy, 63, 63, pass. Don't touch. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 37. Throwing his hurts. Looking right side, and that's complete to Rockets. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Here's a handoff to Swift running left. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift, 28 yards. And the Eagles are back within a score. So there you go. They needed a big play, and they got one there on the touchdown run. And that was a very important drive. Of course, they all are when you're trailing in the second half. But what I really liked, they didn't panic. They knew they still had time to run the football and keep playing their game. Elliott good with a PAT. And they're back with it, a touchdown at 21-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Montrell Washington on the return from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Now here's Mahomes. A pass complete downfield. It's Valdez Scantling. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scantling, 76 yards. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. 
This offense, they were dynamic in the first half. The halftime break, that didn't slow them down at all. Big strike here in the third quarter. It's almost as if they were saying, it's not just our skill in the first half is getting this done, it's confidence as well. And confidence has taken over this game in a big way. How about these strikes that we're seeing? Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Final minute now in the third quarter. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. That's a run to run now. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag. That guy can be your safety valve we saw right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Again, that's Watkins. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 33 yards that time. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. brings up second and two. Second down, here's Hurts. And he'll go down, brought down the 20-yard line. Michael Dana just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Remember, throughout my career here, defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Here's Swift. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Swift again. But he will go backwards as he's stopped for a loss. 
Sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And that could get much better than this for an opportunity. This crowd doing all they can. Here's third and goal. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Trent McDuffie with a pick. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are to go for the two-point try. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And he's going to be taken down. It's a sack, and they fail on the try for two. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the right on the wall a while back because... One team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. A handoff, Swift running to the left. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. 53 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. He'll drop to throw. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. Now they got to get to the line quickly. A gain of 13 yards. First down, Philadelphia. But first down, Hurts. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And the Chiefs are going to take possession here at their own 47 yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Eagle pressure, too much this time. Down he goes. And they're going to speed things up here. It's second and 21 at the 36-yard line. Mahomes going to throw it here. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. On third and long, it's Mahomes. Oh, a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. The Chiefs now are going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. 
And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and that will extend their lead even further. So they had not called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Oh, and Hertz is going to be hit and taken down to the ground.